Hello everybody, Pug Nation here with another tutorial for all of you. So, in the last episode, I showed you how you can automatically sort items and then automatically transport those sorted items to a warehouse. So this is a so-called warehouse I showed you in the last tutorial, and obviously the capacity is pretty limited here, and I asked myself the question, how can we make a large capacity automatically unloading warehouse? And the answer is right here. So here's the back side of that warehouse where all the magic actually happens. Items come here from the sorting unit. They get automatically unloaded here. Once they have been completely emptied from the minecart with Hopper, they are pushed back to go back to the sorting unit and pick up more items. They are then fed through these two hoppers into a dropper unit which detects when it contains an inventory and drops items down here where they are funneled into these chests. This is just a water channel with hoppers that feed into this row of chests over here. You can see I've already started filling these up. And you can make this warehouse really as big as you want. You can make this as tall as you want and you could do some manipulation with the water channel and make it even wider if you wanted. But I don't foresee you needing more space really than this for one item. Alright, so let's build this thing. We got track coming in. We need to build up a diagonal rail section up five blocks. Like this. And we're going to put powered rail on top of all of these. And on the top block, we're going to have a detector rail like that. Put a torch underneath this so that all these are powered. And up here, we're going to build the automatic unload component of the Pugnation item transportation system. I have a video dedicated to this. Check it out if you haven't already, but we're just going to build it real quick. You need to have a repeater right there. Comparator right there. These feed into a block. On top of that block, there is a torch. And on top of the torch is another block. Two blocks built to the side like that. Two redstone dust on top of there. Now we need to build two hoppers. These hoppers are going to feed into this block like so. Excuse me, into... Whoops. And there we go. So these hoppers feed into each other like that. And then usually when I've showed this off, this is this block here has been a chest. Instead, it's going to be a dropper that is facing straight down. So to do that, we put a block like that and put your dropper underneath it like that and break these. There we go. So now these hoppers are feeding into this dropper. Now we need to have our cart track go on top of the hopper like that so that it's inclined at that 45 degree angle. And now we're just gonna go ahead and delete that block. And to complete the automatic unload station, simply put a piston on the second block like that. And there you go. So we have our Pugnation item transportation system automatic unload station feeding into a dropper that is pointed straight down. This will unload any items from a cart that is put into it. And then once it is emptied, it will push the cart back to be reloaded. Now we need to hook up our system to have this dropper fired repeatedly when there is an inventory inside of it. This system is borrowed from this video. This is where I first saw it. It is highlighting vertical item transportation. Also, this is a wonderful tutorial on how to do high speed and silent vertical item transportation. I suggest you all check it out. I'm going to use it for something a little different here though. So we have a comparator feeding out of the dropper into a block. Next to this block, we're gonna have a redstone dust like that, and a comparator feeding from there into this block. Now, when there are items placed in this dropper, they will feed out at a very high speed onto the ground. Aw oh, yeah, love that. All right, let me just demonstrate what we've accomplished so far. I'm gonna load these 64 items into this storage minecart boost it up here. It's going to be automatically unloaded via the Pugnation Item Transportation System automatic unload station fed into this dropper. 
this dropper, sensing an inventory, will immediately start to drop these blocks. Once this is completely emptied, and I'm just going to speed that up, this is going to get pushed back and sent back to where we want it to go. In this case, in this specific example, back to the automatic sorting system that I showed off in the last tutorial. Alright friends, we have finished all of the redstone circuitry and we are ready to simply build up our structure and start building our water channel. This is the easy part. So we're going to build a column four blocks tall that is kind of diagonal from your dropper block. So here's a dropper block, pick your diagonal, build one, two, three, four, and every two blocks build another column four high. And of course the building material is up to you, obviously. And here's where your roof is going to go. Just like this. And here would be your ceiling in order to conceal all the redstone circuitry. And there you go. Now everything is behind the scenes. Now we're going to build our chests. Chests are going to go. The first row is going to be right here. One block below where I have this quartz here. And now in order to hide the water channel, which is going to be right here on this level, we need to put blocks here. These blocks need to be transparent or they can be upside down stairs like this. The reason being if they were opaque blocks, you cannot open the chests. So right now I'm right clicking on this, can't open the chests totally useless so I use these upside down stairs you could use glass you could use glowstone you could use jack-o-lanterns those work as well those are transparent blocks all right we're just gonna fill in the last two rows of chests now Whoop. chest there chest there chest there I should also know that you could even increase the uh, you could increase your storage capacity here in the same amount of space by using the new trapped chests because you can put two of these next to each other like that if you alternate normal chests and trap chests. You could increase your capacity that way and this would work just fine for all of you. Just wanted to point that out. And now it's time to start manufacturing our water channel. So our dropper is going to spit items out right here and we're going to have our source block right there so we need to contain all of this we're gonna need glass blocks I'll show you why in a second hoppers and some kind of structural block I'll keep using the quartz or nice neat look block there to contain the water and a block right there blocks all around like that and that will be where our source block will go First things first, we need a piston, or excuse me, we need a hopper that's going to feed into that first chest. And actually, this block needs to be a transparent block. This block has to be glass, again, or an upside down staircase glowstone. It needs to be a transparent block, otherwise you won't be able to open this chest now. So in this case, I'm going to use glass. Put a block like that. Same thing, glass block right there, hopper feeding into that chest, hopper feeding into that chest, glass block right there, block there, and then blocks all around here to contain our water. We are now ready to lay our source block down. Boom, right there. Now all items that are being spit out of this dropper will be fed down into here. It will be funneled via these hoppers into the chests in front of them. Alright, so continuing right along, we're going to start putting our hopper system in for the next two levels down. You need to be shift clicking when you're clicking on these chests, otherwise you're just going to open up the chest of course. And now uh, we're going to lay the foundation for our water channel on the second level. Our source block is going to be placed right on top of this glass block here. So we need to contain the water flow and have it go along this channel here. So I'm just going to place glass blocks all along like this. Again, you could use whatever kind of block type you like here. 
and I'm gonna put a block of water here, and that's it. That's the whole system. Oh no! Ah! No, it isn't! Ah! There we go. Woo! Oh no! No! Okay, <laughs> crisis averted. All right, now that's the whole system. So the way I have the hopper set up, the way, the order in which these chests will fill is this one first. Once that's completely full, items will go into this one, and then this one, and then because of the way I have to have the hoppers feeding, the items will flow through and they'll feed from that hopper into this chest, but then they will automatically feed via that hopper into this chest. So the items will actually load this one first, then then the one, then this one, and then this one, this one, this one, and then finally the middle one, that one, and that one. This warehouse is customizable. You can make this even taller. Um, you can use trapped chests to make it even more compact so you can fit more boxes into here if storage capacity is really your primary concern. I just chose to do it this way because I find it aesthetically pleasing. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out my other tutorials. Be sure to check out my automatic item sorting system. Be sure to check out the Pugnation item transportation system, vertical item transportation system. All those will be linked below. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more like it. I will see you all very soon. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Awesome. What do you think? I think it came out great. Let's have a look inside. I just beat a man to death with my bare hands. Ugh, that's pugnacious.